What the heck is going on guys? Welcome to your 12th biology tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about nucleic acid. Pretty freaking sweet. So nucleic acid is actually really important in your body and I say that it's important because first of all without it you'd be dead so you know it's kind of important I guess and I know I keep saying your body but the fact is that nucleic acid actually exists in every single living thing on earth. So nucleic acid is made up of these smaller things because, you know, in biology we like to break it down into smaller stuff until our brain explodes. Nucleic acid is made up of these smaller things called nucleotides. And if you're saying, oh, thanks Bucky, now I understand it, eh, just kidding, what the heck is a nucleotide? Well, a nucleotide is made up of three ingredients, and once we understand these ingredients, we basically can understand what a nucleic acid is made up of. So the first ingredient is a nitrogenous base. And whenever someone says a nitrogenous base, it basically means a base that contains a nitrogen. Why they don't just say that? It's because biologists, they like to sound smart and come up with, you know, these fancy terms for everything. So nitrogenous base. The second is a sugar. And the sugar has to contain five carbon molecules. So I'll just put with five carbon molecules molecules in the third ingredient is just a phosphate group and that's it those are the three ingredients that you need whenever you make a nucleotide so I know that you know all this stuff is kind of going off to the right and down so let me go ahead and summarize this at the bottom real quick first you take three ingredients and with those three ingredients you make something called a nucleotide and when you have enough nucleotides, you can go ahead and combine them together to make something called nucleic acid. And this is the important thing in your body. That's what your body frickin' loves. So now what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about one specific nucleic acid that I'm willing to bet that you guys probably heard before, a little thingy called DNA. Now DNA actually stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, so that's where all the you know letters come from. And DNA is actually made up of two strands of nucleotides. So let me go ahead, and if you ever seen a picture of DNA, which I'm really guessing that you probably have, you notice that it kind of looks like a twisted ladder. And if you ever take that ladder and untwist it, that's what I'm trying to draw right now. Even though I may not be the best artist on earth so right here we have your you know untwisted ladder and DNA like I said is made up of two strands of nucleotides one right here and one right here now the different parts of the nucleotide we already know but where exactly are they on the DNA molecule well the sides of your DNA is actually two of the ingredients these are your sugars and phosphate group so that leaves us with the rung of the DNA, and of course the rungs, remember, do you remember that third ingredient? I'll let you guys think about it. Yep, it's the, uh, well, it's the nitrogenous base. I'll just go ahead and write that. Nitrogenous base. So basically we can see that DNA is made up of nucleotides, which is made up of the three ingredients, a nitrogenous base, sugars, and a phosphate group, and whenever you combine them all, of course, you get this special type of nucleic acid called DNA. Pretty freaking sweet, huh? So in the next tutorial, what I want to do, I actually thought I was going to have time in this tutorial, but I want to talk to you guys about genes and a bunch of different stuff. So you know what? <laughs> Instead of telling you guys what I'm going to talk about in the next tutorial, just watch the next tutorial and you'll see. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you then.